have officially stopped giving fucks. Yep. Took a shower. And I just am too lazy to get beautiful for you, YouTube. I'm sorry. But that is falling to the side. Okay. So, I watched, rewatched, I guess, Dan's video. You know, Dan is not on fire. The beautiful specimen of a male that is Dan. He's beautiful. But his uh, psycho French teacher video inspired me to tell you guys about one of the many psychotic teachers that I've had. And let's focus on my theater teacher. Let's see. I had an amazing theater teacher in the 8th grade. She was a little eccentric, but she was cool. When I got into the ninth grade, into like high school, she was a crazy bitch. Like, mm-mm, no, mm-mm, mm-mm, but like, I mean, I would want to do something for theater, and you know, it's theater, you know, creative expression, yeah, no, like, if she decided that she didn't like what I was doing, then apparently I was doing it just for attention, and she'd call me an attention whore and make fun of me in front of the entire class for it like that wasn't even the worst of it like one day she went to the doctors for like this pain in the elbow or like ankle or hip or something it was just like some weird little like oh I'm getting old I'm getting pain because I'm old and cranky and kind of a bitch but like she was put on ibuprofen and she'd walk around the classroom and she'd be like, I'm a little high right now. So, um, excuse my weird, my weird behavior. And then she'd start talking, like, she'd start walking or something and be like, I'm walking so slow. And she'd be sitting there acting all loopy and it's just like, bitch, you're on ibuprofen. Like, seriously. You're on ibuprofen ibuprofen that doesn't do anything except fuck up your your stomach lining and liver if you take too much and that is generally pretty hard to do so no but, but i mean the worst thing that she probably has ever done like to me personally is we were auditioning for theater three because it was an audition only class like you had to do it in front of your theater class you've had to have at least had at least two years of theater previous like it was very high rigorous course and i did uh, the beginning monologue from the scriker which is a college level play i was in ninth grade it was a college level play not only that but i had to edit all of the language and i had to cut it down so it was like five minutes or less and i still had to like get the gist of the monologue in so you know i got the point across like i managed to cut it so i got the point across that you know i was in hell or purgatory or like, you know, however you interpret it, because they never really made it specific. I was talking to a group of demons. I was plotting, like, to ruin someone's life. And, like, I had no good reason for it. Like, those were the four main points of this monologue. Was, like, setting the scene so that you knew, okay, like, this is a demonic, dark angel type person. A crazy they're, like, going and ruining these people's lives for, like, no reason. It's actually a really good play. Like, I definitely recommend it as long as you are not one that gives a fuck about language. But I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you don't give a fuck. So, have fun. <laughs> but it's really good. It's a good storyline. It's short. Like, it's a short play. I read it in less than, like, an hour. And, like, but, like, I cut it down. I worked really, really hard, and I had it all completely memorized, and I didn't get into a theater three class. And 
when I asked her why, she was telling me because I didn't do this one thing that she didn't instruct me to do when I ran it for her before the actual audition. And, like, she didn't make it clear to me that I was supposed to do it. Like, I was supposed to, like, keep my eyes on, like, two corners of the room and go back and forth to, like, know that I was talking to a crowd. And I was like, um, I didn't know that. Is that really the only reason? And then she told me it was because the play I had chosen was inappropriate. When I got it out of her play box, it was her box of plays that she had claimed she pre-approved and was okay to do as long as we edited the language out of it. And then she accepted this other girl in her three theater three class that not only did she do a monologue from Mean Girls, but she did not have it memorized. Not only did she not have it memorized, but she had to start over like three times. Three times. And it was ridiculous. But no, you know, God forbid the person that went above and beyond expectations and tried their hardest to get into a class they honestly wanted to get into and actually had a passion for, you know, got into the class. No, let's put the girl that was doing it because it was a part of the grade in that class into the advanced theater class. And, like, she wouldn't even end up signing up for theater the next year. And you filled one of the 24 slots in the class with someone who didn't give a fuck. Okay, cool. That's cool fucking Mrs. Durfee. Fuck you too. Okay? Yeah, that's right. Nobody liked you. Nobody except your own daughter, who you would always cast as main roles, even though she had no talent whatsoever. And I mean, honestly, like, it's not even, like, just me. Like, you could ask anyone that was in any of the theater classes or tried to do plays. Like, this woman was biased. She always cast her daughters in main roles. And, like, if you were gay or she didn't agree with your views, like, she hated you. Like, she didn't like me because she didn't like my sister when my sister was in her class. First of all, my sister and I may look alike a little bit. Like, not even that much. Just a little bit. And my sister and I may have a few little things in common, like our views on gay marriage and our views on, like, other things like that. But my sister and I are different, completely different people. My sister is, like, this rough and tough, like, I'm a badass bitch, like, I'm gonna fuck you up. And I'm over here, like, hi, don't hurt me. Please don't be mean to me. Please don't be a bully. And I won't even fight unless someone swings at me first. But, like, when my sister was in high school, which, I mean, my sister's mellowed out a lot since then, my sister would start the fights. My sister was the bully, and I was the bullied, I guess, when I was in high school. Like, well, I'm still in high school. When I went to that high school. But, like, I mean, it wasn't fair that she judged me based on, like, who my sister was. And, like, she was just crazy. And she was just horrible. And I honestly just... Like, I didn't do theater the next year because of her. Like, I let her rule what decisions I made. And then I ended up transferring schools and doing theater in that school. And they didn't even make me audition because I'd taken